Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, the daily vlog is gonna consist of the table, the fire, and the contractor. So first off, let's start it out with this morning. I had an interesting call for a surgical table, Asteris 3085, which it initially was reported to be a Skytron table, so I came completely prepared for a whole nother outcome. But when I got there, uh, it had a crash shroud, and on top of the crash shroud, it had um, no brakes. And anybody that's dealt with stairs tables long enough knows that ha that has something to do with the micro switches, usually. So, first things first, we pulled off the upper shroud, and come to find out, one of the fasteners, there's four fasteners that attach the upper shroud to the suspension bar, it um one of the screws wasn't even in so that means that when you raise it up it goes cattywampus and if you guys know anything about telescoping objects when one object telescopes atop another one if it's not perfectly square it's going to droop in one corner and it's going to catch and eventually crash which is kind of what happened so we pulled the shrouds off first and we rebent part of the shroud um, and we rebent the pickup catches, which are on the inside. And we got those pretty close to factory spec and we placed them off to the side. We lowered the table all the way down and I was working with a uh, Biomed 2 and I was showing him a trick when you're out in the field. You can take the power cord and on one side you go up between the rail and the bed and you create a little loop and you put it over the end of the attachment rail and it creates uh, a pretty good hold for the power cord. And then you lift up on the stainless steel tray or the body and you scoot the cord underneath until it's about halfway down the, the middle of the shroud. And then you bring it up the other side in between the rail and you loop it around the accessory rail that's on the outside. And then you use the, um, the table up button to raise the entire bottom shroud. And it's a pretty cool trick. Uh, I learned a long time ago because you're often out in the field and sometimes you have to fix these things with little to no uh, supplies. So one of the things that I learned is to lift up the shroud is to use the power cord, especially when you're in the field and you gotta do a quick fix. So we adjusted the micro switches and one of the things, I, I really wanna do a video one of these days, um, on Steris 3080 surgical tables because there's so many minute details and if you just pay attention and you just adjust everything correctly, you're not gonna have many problems with it. Most of your problems are gonna be user problems like uh, crashing shrouds. So anyway, um, we uh, adjusted the micro switch and the tension on your crimp connectors that attach to the micro switch because those are a pretty common problem. But also there's a set screw that is attached to your hydraulic ram. And what happens is the set screw comes in and it presses on your micro switch. And what usually happens is most people overcompensate and screw in that set screw too far and it applies pressure to the whole entire body of the micro switch, which they're plastic. They'll have some sort of give but remember, all plastics with time get brittle. It's just the nature of plastics. So over time, you're eventually gonna get a cracked micro switch. So just save yourself the hassle and you adjust the ram so that it continuously oppresses uh, the micro switch, but not so far that it's actually making contact with the micro switch body. That's a pretty common problem. So. Anyway, that's the first object for the day. It was a surgical table, and we were able to get that up and going. That was that was the pace setter for the day, because that's one of those calls that comes through, and they say, hey, by the way, we have this surgical table. We need it to be fixed. We, we have a patient that's coming in. Well, I haven't even seen the table yet. How can I guarantee that I can even fix it? I mean, first off, for some weird reason, this hospital has surgical tables, many of them under contract but our contractor almost never comes out within a reasonable time period. It's usually, I think he has probably within 24 hours to come out. Well, 
what operating room can afford to have a surgical table down for 24 hours? It's just, it's not realistic. So anyway, we usually get first look on these surgical tables anyway. So what happened is somebody, another technician called me up and said, hey, can you come up here and take a look at this table with me? And I said, sure, no problem. And I headed up there with my Biomed 2 associate and the guy that called me and wanted me to meet him up there, he came when I was already finishing up. So that, is, that, that was my pace setter for the day. Eventually we got around to lunchtime today and we took a walk to two hospital campuses away and we went to a Chick-fil-A. You know, my hospital does not have a very good selection of food. So we went to a place called the Commons, which has a beautiful waterfall that comes down the side and is really nice. But uh, as we were sitting in there and we were meeting one of the biomeds to another hospital, I believe very firmly in keeping up strong relations with other biomeds, especially pre previous associates. So we met him out there for lunchtime uh, just to say hi and introduce my Biomed 2 to a Biomed from another facility. And uh, as I'm sitting there, I got a hint of a whiff of electric fire. And I was looking around and I couldn't see it. And you, anybody that's repaired electronics, you know the smell, guaranteed. It smells a little bit like brown sugar and you smell it, you know immediately what it is. And I was looking around, I couldn't find a source of it. We sat there for just a few more minutes. Wouldn't you know it, all of a sudden, all the employees start walking out and smoke starts pouring out of the side of the vents for this building. It was blasting smoke out into the this entire lobby area and uh, the building was on fire. You know, that's, that's always an entertaining lunch. So I looked over at uh, one of the girls that was at Chick-fil-A and I said, hey, somebody ordered the extra spicy chicken, didn't they? <laughs> but uh, then I turned around to the biomeds that were with me and I said, this is why we do PMs. <laughs> so that was my lunchtime. And uh, after lunch, we had a instructor coming from Crothel who is going to give us some instruction on Navolo. Now, I've used Navolo for a long time, so I, I didn't really need any instruction, but we definitely wanted to go down and see what he wanted to say, because one of the things that really upsets me the most about this location and this Navolo rollout from Crothel is that they don't allow you to add another technician's time to the work order. So the workflow is like this. Whoever does the work order, they have to fill it out, save the work order, then email whoever it is that has uh, that helped you out with the work order, and then you have to have them drop their time to it. And, God forbid, you have more than one person with you when you go to see a work order. Let's say it's a project, and you have three or four people that go with you for that project on that work order. Believe it or not, you have to do this goofball situation where you have to email it from person to person instead of just one person dropping their time to the work order. I was absolutely upset. I asked, I asked the guy uh, that was coming to do the training, is this a permanent situation? And he said, yes, every technician can only fill out his or her time to work order. Well guys, just to tell you, Crothel is starting to feel more and more like a giant mistake. It's a huge mistake, I think and they have no real redeeming qualities yet. They're hiding behind their ISO ratings, which is ISO 9001, whatever. He, he spouted off a couple different ISO ratings and he says we're very proud of those. But here's the problem, is because of their ISO ratings, they're less flexible as a company in a business where flexibility is key. So in my opinion, uh, their ISO ratings make them a worse company definitely a worse company to deal with because they only deal with certain vendors they he made it absolutely clear that they will not buy anything from Amazon who just happens to be the world's largest retailer of pretty much everything but anyway Crothel is starting to feel like a giant mistake and I I don't know maybe I'm gonna start investigating uh, a new career or a new job someplace else
This is the first time I ever actually mentioned that uh, before I dropped my resignation letter. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll change my mind. I think I've given them quite a bit of time already because mind you, I have two biomeds, two people, and we are currently servicing between 60 and 70 operating rooms. Two people, two. A biomed two that's never done surgery and me. So they haven't even mentioned hiring anybody new and I'm starting to get very frustrated and very stressed out because if you can imagine, that's thousands of pieces of equipment and just staying on top of the repairs alone, let alone the PMs, just the repairs is a constant job. So now we have a new contracted management and it's just not starting to look good. So I'm starting to think of maybe some other possibilities. Anyway, guys, that was my day, and uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>